Hi, I'm Frank Novolo and this is Cypress Run Golf Club. It's a little less than 30 minutes away from Tampa. Now I'm about to take you on a guided tour of one of the most beautiful courses in the Tampa Bay area. Now Cypress Run Golf Club is located in Tarpon Springs, that's in Florida we know, but also just off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Designed by legendary golf architect Larry Packard, Cypress Run has to be seen to truly appreciate its beauty. Why would a group of community leaders create such a unique club in the Tampa Bay area? Passion is the easy answer. From the very beginning, Cypress Run represented a labor of love and the desire to have a championship golf course that all could play. The founders dreamed of a membership neither too big or too small. What began as a dream in 1981 turned into a reality, an uncompromising golf club in an exclusive residential community. Cypress Run is a championship 18-hole golf course with six sets of tees to accommodate all levels of play. It can play from 5,000 yards to just over 7,000 yards. The Tift Eagle Greens and newly renovated bunkers solidify Cypress Run's reputation as one of the most manicured and playable golf courses in the Tampa Bay area. Cypress Run boasts an excellent lounge and grill roof, a perfect place to relax after a day on the golf course, anything from a casual lunch to fine dining. The chef plans specialty dining nights with a wide variety of culinary delights fit for any function or wedding. The tennis courts are conveniently located just 50 yards from the clubhouse, and there's programs for every skill level. Cypress Run offers a variety of golf memberships to accommodate the various lifestyles of today's golfing community. Also, social memberships are available for the unlimited use of clubhouse and tennis facilities. So we're just getting started. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this grand tour of Cypress Run. Cypress Run opens up with a mid-length par four, just a slight bend to the right. Uh, really, you don't have to hit driver down this opening hole. You can just hit a sort of a fairway wood down there, even a long iron. Ideally, you want to be down that right side because that's going to give you the best angle into this green. Now, that second shot, when you look at it, it must cross over the Hollands Creek and avoid also that pond on the left. We certainly don't want to go there. Um, it's a fairly large green, but it has a decided tilt from that back right to the left, actually towards the pond. So anytime that flag is pushed in the back of this green, you really do have to be a little careful there, but um, it's a good starting hole at Cypress Run. The second hole at Cypress Run is the shortest par five on the golf course, but it's a tricky tee shot. And it's made a little narrow because of those three really big oaks that are down the right side. It forces you to go a little left down this hole, but be careful because it's very easy to run out down that left side. And if you get into trouble, then Holland's Creek, which cuts across, is certainly problematic for that second shot. But a good tee shot and this par five is certainly reachable uh, for two. If you're gonna lay it up, um, just wanna give yourself a decent yardage so you can sort of hit it this sort of smallish green that's tightly guarded. Um, there's three deep bunkers that actually surround this par five. So if you're going for it, it's fun. If you've got to lay it up, well, it's a fairly easy third shot. Don't you love par threes that are sort of framed with a big tree? Well, that's exactly what the third hole at Cypress Run is all about. There's a big oak tree. It's a good 50, 60 yards of the putting surface. So after you've played the hole at least once, you realize it shouldn't be in play, but it's just enough to take your mind's eye off this shot. Plus, you don't quite notice that bunker that cuts into the right short side of this par three. So if anything, aim a little left of that tree and a little left of that bunker, and you should get through the third hole at Cypress Run fairly clean. The fourth hole at Cypress Run certainly gets your attention, and for good reason. There's two bunkers down the left side. Now, if you think they're problematic, the reason why they come into play a lot is the pond on the right. It looks like two ponds, but really it just has two fingers that come out into the fairway. Now, when they get the prevailing breeze, which comes off the Gulf of Mexico, the tee shot is right to left. So it blows you away from the pond and towards the bunkers. 
but it also makes that second shot on this dogleg right par four more into and consequently play a little longer. It's a great driving hole. It's got to be respected and is certainly one of the toughest par fours at Cypress Run. Let's take a step away from the golf course and look at Cypress Run's professional services. Cypress Run offers golf and social events that are organized by friendly and professional staff that take pride in accommodating the membership. There is no task too small or request too big that we cannot do for our members. We are here to make golf a better game, make you a better golfer, and to provide an unparalleled service and dedication that only the finest club can offer. Customer service is so important at Cypress Run. They strive to excel in every area. No job is too small. The staff here at Cypress Run, they get the job done. The pro shop at Cypress Run takes the mission statement very seriously and goes to great lengths to accomplish it. The pro shop has discounted rates on the latest golf equipment that the game has to offer for its members. Regular visits by equipment representatives come to the practice facility to custom fit our members exclusively. Swing speed and the right equipment is tested for ability of each golfer by the most modern methods. Believe it or not, Denise, that was the best swing you made yet. The fifth hole looks straight away. It's not a very long par four, but there's a multitude of ways to play it. You can lay it back and try and drive it down there, but it is quite a narrow par four. Once you start driving it down there, it sort of creeps in there. Now you miss it left or right, and those three bunkers that protect the front of the screen, they certainly come into play. So pick your poison, and also pick where the prevailing breeze is coming from when you play it. The sixth hole is a very tight par five. That seems to be the common trend around Cypress Run Golf Club. Um, there is a penalty area all the way down the right side too, and in amongst that actually is an out-of-bounds fence. Um, but it's a hole that bends to the left, and as you would expect, they put a bunker right really on that corner of the dog leg. Longer hitters perhaps can take it over the corner of that, um, especially with the right wind condition. A good drive, and you would think about reaching the par five and two, but once again, if you don't hit that best of tee shots, you really do have to be careful about where you want to position your second shot, because it gets a little narrow. Good par five, reachable for some, and still a tricky three-shotter. Comes at the right time of the round. The par four seventh is difficult, not just because it's a dog leg, but um, you go out of that corridor, that shoot of trees on this par four, and there's a penalty area to the left and a penalty area to the right. Plus, you've got to hit the tee shot right on the, on, on the correct yardage on the apex of the corner. Too far, you can get blocked out. Too short, then you've got to go over another rope. And then on top of that, what makes it sort of a difficult par four is this green slopes away on all four sides, almost like an upside down saucer. Uh, that water to the right, well, the one good thing about that, you notice that pretty fountain, but um, it's a good par four. The eighth hole is a beautiful looking par three, lovely rustic fence along the right side. Speaking of fences, certainly don't want to sit on the fence with regard to club selection here. It can be tricky. That breeze, when it comes off the Gulf of Mexico, comes over those trees that are right behind the back of this par three. So sometimes when wind comes over trees like that, you get sort of an eddy effect or swirling, swirling breezes around the green. So that does make that club selection a little tricky. Plus the bunker there, well, that's to um, you know, guard one that goes a little left and short. The pond, you should never even think of when you're on this tee. Take a camera as well, because it's a pretty little hole. The ninth hole at Cypress Run, some might say is a risk-reward par four, but this golf course was designed by Larry Packett. What he liked to do is every now and again put a stop bunker. And you notice that down there on that tee shot of this ninth hole, those three bunkers, one on the right, then one a little closer, and then one almost smack bang in the middle of the fairway. And that's what Larry Packard liked to do, to try and make sure that everybody was challenged, not only on the tee shot, but also with a fairly lengthy second shot. And that's exactly what happens here at the slight you know, dog leg uh, par four ninth hole. Plus, when you look at that green, once you get up closer, that green tilts left to right. While it appears wide, the target area is much smaller. With front hole locations, often shots not hit with enough spin run into the right bunker. A lot of break on the front and on the very back challenge even the best putters. Tis the ninth hole, so it's close to the clubhouse. 
and so therefore the beer and I, well, we might just have a little cold one before we tee off on the tent. Speaking of beautiful, course conditions are always of the utmost importance at Cypress Run. Let's head to the tenth hole. Start of the back nine here at Cypress Run. The tee shot comes right out of a chute, those oaks on either side. They give you that really narrow perspective when you're coming out of there. So if you've had like the beer and I a little bit too much to eat at the turn there, that could be a little stringent for most people. The fairway does start to open up a little bit though once you get out of that chute. Good driving hole really, and it sets up nicely. But you notice that green is almost off center. You'd like it to be right in front of you, and the designer Larry Packard has just pushed it to the right, making that second shot just a little more challenging. I mean, it's a good way to start the back nine. It's a, a very small green, but it's fairly flat. Um, if you had a good front nine, hey, just continue it here at the tent. Some say that the par fives of today, the modern par five, are almost just two shotters. Well, Larry Packard, years and years ago, well, there's even a book written about it. His way around it was a double dogleg. And we see that here at the 11th hole at Cypress Run. The hole goes straight away, bends to the left, and then comes back to the right. It means you've got to put your thinking cap on on that first tee. Do I try and just sort of have a three wood or an iron down there, respect the three shotter, or do I really try and get it over those oaks and perhaps make this par five reachable? So Larry Packard, after all these years and that, the double dogleg par five that you see here at the 11th, it's still an absolute master of strategy and keeps the integrity of what par fives are all about. Crooked hitters don't last long at Cypress Run. The 12th hole is a good example of why really straight is always the key. There's the two bunkers down the left side of this par four that bends a little to the right, plus those prominent trees on the right. It's off the back tees, it's only just over 360 yards, so really length isn't that important here. But find the fairway and then just about anybody that plays this game can reach the green with a second shot. But the green itself is kidney shaped green, two bunkers protect the front and the left side of this, you know, what is, a pretty par four. Not long, but if you don't think, it'll catch you up. The longest par four at Cypress Run is the 13th hole. Um, off the back tees, it's just over 450 yards. Now, it really should be a straightaway par four, but the designer, Larry Packard, put those three bunkers in that start pushing you to the right side of this fairway. And that's also where you notice why this is a tough par four. There's a lake on the right that you barely pick up off the tee, and then that runs into the outer bounds down that right side. So really, probably the best driving hole on this golf course. From there on in, it's a well-protected um, green on this par four. There's actually four bunkers on the right side and that just that one solitary bunker on the left side of this green. So tough tee shot and a tough second. Walk away with four here on the 13th. Job well done. The 14th hole is the shortest of the four par threes at Cypress Run, but also a little bit of an optical illusion. Those bunkers down the left, well, you've got to get to the fourth bunker before it's even level with the green. So the tendency is your eye, eye to wander there. Plus three distinct levels on this par three green. Very narrow, but just get it on the right level and chances are you can have a good birdie butt. Be careful of the wind here though, those trees all the way along the right side and behind. On the tee, they'll often block the wind, you won't feel it. If all gets above that, you'll notice it. I hope you're enjoying the guided tour of Cypress Run Golf Club. But before we go any further and look at those final four holes, let's have a little look at the practice facilities. There are areas where you can work on every aspect of your game. These areas are maintained as closely as possible to on-course conditions. The practice area offers unlimited range balls for your practice session. The PGA trained staff is headed by a Class A professional. Group and individual lessons are available through the Pro Shop. Junior golf is important and encouraged by Cypress Run. Lessons and programs are offered for all ages. The 15th hole at Cypress Run certainly gets your attention and for good reason. It's a very difficult par four, dog leg to the right. Plus, if that's not hard enough, it's the penalty area to the left and the one to the right that punishes anything that's offline. 
Now it's another one of these dog legs at Cypress Run where you've got to hit the ball right on the button. Not too far and not too short. Too far it goes into the trees, too short and then you're almost blocked out for your second shot. You really do have to set up your second shot into a very narrow green. The one thing in your favour though, this green is tilted severely from back to front. It means it's a little easier to stop the ball on the green. Biggest breaking putts here on 15 and more in the front section of the green. This is a good par four. The last par five at Cypress Run is the 16th hole. It's also the longest par five on the golf course. Now the tee shot's played over a lake and really you should favour the left side for a couple of reasons. You carry the lake number one, but also you avoid three pot bunkers down the right side. Remember, reachable par five or a long par five, do not want to be in a bunker off the tee. Now the second shot has to be well placed too because there's an oak tree up there on the left side, plus another three additional, you know, sort of smallish bunkers that are up there. So you don't just blaze away there, try and find that fairway. Now the putting service too, it's another one, it's not just flat, there's two distinct tiers on this green. So there's a lot of sort of subtle breaks. But a par five, third to last hole in the golf course, it is a good opportunity for a bird. Now the 16th hole was the longest and last par five. So the 17th hole, well, makes sense. The longest and the last par three at Cypress Run. Now the other reason why too it is long or plays longer than his yardage, it's playing back to the Gulf of Mexico where the prevailing breeze normally comes from. Now the tee shot has to avoid a large bunker on the right and there's a wooded area to the left. So this really will require your best iron shot of the day. If you do miss the green on the right, it's a tricky little up and down since the green is actually tilted from that direction away from you. 17, last par three, make the most of it. Great golf courses have great finishing holes and Cypress Run adds its name to that list. This 18th hole here is one of the most demanding finishing holes in all of the Tampa Bay area. Now it's a long par four with a dog leg to the right. There's a penalty area down that right side that really has to be avoided. Now you'll notice the bunker down the left side. If you hit it too far along that straight line, it will run into that bunker. So for the longer hitters, it's still your line, just club up a little short of it. And there the hole starts to open up. Now that second shot, it's going to be demanding wherever you hit it off this tee here. But you're going to also see Holland's Creek again. You've got to avoid that, got to carry that when you're going to have a crack at this 18th green. Now, you really, if anything, if you're going to be particular here, want to be a little below the hole here on the 18th green because there's quite a bit of a tilt from the back to the front. So anytime you're putting uphill, it's always considered much easier. Now, this is a great finish to a very stout golf course and one that the great designer Larry Packard was certainly proud to have his name attached to. Thank you for visiting Cypress Run Golf Club. It's so much more than a championship golf course. It's a club that creates a social atmosphere desirable for all, provided for by a staff that sees its members as individuals with individual needs. A club that has amenities for the whole family to enjoy. Come visit, come visit. Cypress Run Golf Club. If you would like membership information, please call area code 727-938-3774 or visit Cypress Run's website at www.cypressrun.com to set up your personal tour of the golf course and all of the fine amenities Cypress Run Golf Club has to offer.